But what about the other student uh, guys? Can you see all of them? Yes. Okay. Okay, my name is Amjad, and I will start with the introduction to material handling. The objective of material handling in uh, is the basic objective is to move the right combination of tools and materials, uh, such as materials, parts, and uh, finished products, at the right time uh, to the right place in the right form and in the right uh, orientation, and to do it with the minimum total cost. <laughs> uh, it, it is the movement, protection, storage, and control of materials and products throughout manufacturing, warehouse, distribution, consumption, and disposal. Material handling equipment has uh, five classifications. Trans, uh, transport equipment, unit load uh, formation equipment, identification and control equipment, positioning equipment, and storage equipment. Second is the forms of tra trans transportable materials. Transportable materials can be found in the top five industries. Automobile as vehicle components and bodies and 3PL, third-party logistic industry, as products and goods, as you can see in the pictures. Amjad, you have to finish during 10 minutes. Okay, I will You try have it. only 10 minutes. I will try, because I can't see the clock here, so... And building and construction as construction materials, concrete blocks, and construction equipment, uh, healthcare and farm, uh, pharmacy, medical and pharmaceutical materials, manufacturing as heavy raw materials, basic elements of hoist. What is uh, what are hoist? Hoist are uh, hoist are me mechanical or electromechanical lifting. Devices that uh, rely on mechanical advantage to move objects, uh, uh, objects vertically and support hanging loads. Elements we have lifting, uh, lifting motor. In the picture here, you can see and it's on the right side here, number one. And drum and drop guide. Uh, it's number three here. And uh, limit switch over uh, gearbox overload limit device here we have block and tackle mechanism a block is a set of pulleys or shaves mounted on a single frame an assembly of blocks with a rope threads through the, through the pulleys is called tackle understanding the block and tackle the mechanical advantage of a tackle the, 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 the dictates how much easier it is to haul or lift the load. Considering the said police to be N and the input force of the rope on the rope is FA, FB over N, we can get the FA, which is the uh, input force. From this picture, you can see it's uh, if it's uh, FB is W and the number of police are four, it will be W over four. That is the input force on the rope. And also here, it's it, it will be uh, W over 2. Fourth is the lifting mechanism. In the lifting mechanism, we have three. We can, we can conclude it to three lifting mechanisms. Uh, metric lifting, it's encrypted, encrypts a uh, hollow cylinder and piston. Hydraulic lifts, the hydraulic mechanism comp compresses liquid hydraulic oil to increase the internal pressure with the cylinder. And mechanical lifts, it functions, it functions by translating the radial motion of the components into linear motion, which is uh, then ex ex uh, expected as uh, extension of the lifts 
components and the rising or lowering of the intended object. If we have also hosting types, there is a chain host, electric chain host, wire rope host, and uh, hosting trolley. Uh, for the trolley, trolley is, uh, is the mechanism that moves the host along the bridge gather of, uh, of crane. And electric uh, host. Electric host can be designed to use chain or wire rope and use an electric motor to turn gears located inside the host that lifts or lowers the load. And there is manual host and travel host. Travel hoist is a heavy duty electric hoist, ideal for rough environment, and one of the fastest moving hoist. Overhead traveling cranes. An overhead traveling crane, commonly called a bridge crane, it is a type of crane found in industrial environment. An overhead crane consists of parallel runway, runways with travel bridge Spanning the gap. A horse to the left uh, component of crane travel along the bridge. The application of overhead uh, cranes is uh, re refinement, production of steel and other metals, in, and also in the automobile industry, handle raw materials and handle lighter loads such as jeep cranes or giant cranes that handle the light, lighter loads. Majid, okay. Uh, can you show your next slide? Let me see. Next slide? Yes. This one? Yes. Go to. Yeah. Okay, next. N no need to speak. Just show me your slide. Uh, my slides just serve you the slides? Yes. Okay. Go next. Next one. Wait one minute. Okay. Go to next. Next. Yes. Next. <laughs> Next. 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 Go ahead. Next. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Okay, the next guy can start. Uh, what is the next one? You can stop your screen. Mustafa Alian. Please start yes. your presentation. Hello? Yes, Mustafa Alian, are you with us? Okay, just wait. All right. You can see now, Doctor? Yes, we can see. Okay. Uh, hello. We will talk about uh, will we talk about uh, hoisting and conveying uh, machines. Introduction 
hoisting and conveying machines. Oh, can you go to first slide? Uh, can you go to first slide? What is the content? Let me see your content. What? Uh, okay. Hosting and conveying uh, machines, cubicle introduction, hoisting machines, types of uh, hoisting machines, basic element of uh, hoisting and uh, block process uh, machines, conveyor, uh, conveyors. Okay, you can go to next. Conclusion. All right. Introduction. Hoisting and conveying machines, they are the principal means of the mechanization of loading and uploading works work and hosting and conveying operation in industrial in industrial construction trans, uh, transportation mining and agriculture they are also used to move people in high raise interest in, in in this in this in this in, this, in residential, public, and administrative buildings, and uh, in mines and subways section. Hoist machinism, 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 uh, hoist machinism, hoist machinism uses. Uh, hoist machinism, machinism is particular use at construction work for, for uh, loading and uploading of materials. Frequently, it is used for lighting for materials and block quantities at various sites. Hoist, uh, hoist machines is used in following hoisting machines. Various types of crowns. Western differential, differential poly blocks. Uh, screw jack or hydrocal, hydraulic jack. It is also used in shove, shovel. Here it is a hook and uh, hoist. Types of hoist machinemes. Tower crans, clower clower crans, gantry crans for a prodigy crans, overhead crans, cran. The tower crane is one of the most important equipment used used on construction sites. It serves the work site in loading and lifting materials, which helps to complete the work quickly. Like this figure. This is tower crank. And uh, there is main parts like hydraulic clamping section, hook, cl uh, hook block, uh, operator cab uh, and uh, tower back and uh, counter uh, counterweight and another parts and uh, another parts. Two, a crawler crank or china crank. It is. Uh, or a uh, chain crown. Uh, it is Mustafa. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, stop. Can you show your next slide? Okay. Uh, can you make uh, the big? I mean, uh, one minute. Uh, we can cannot see the clearly. Make the big size of. Okay. No, 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 not here. When you click the presentation slide, okay, wait. Good, this yes, good? yeah, no, it's good. Okay, go okay. to the next.
this is a complex system, fixed oh. complex, or, right. uh, fixed, uh, or uh, moving fully. All right. Types of conveyors. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Conclusion. Just okay, and can, okay, try to uh, conclude this one. What? Uh, try to conclude uh, this year project. Okay, conclusion. In the end, this sequence and uh, this sequence and uh, conveyors have been 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 treated to facilitate the human work as this invention is considered a quality weight transfer in the world of technology. Machines and also machines as general reduce time and offer during uh, work. What do we do if, the, if there is no machine to help us complete our difficult tasks, such as lifting rocks or lifting heavy object on rooftops or, uh, of uh, towers and buildings. Okay, you can stop. Uh, the next one is who? Oh, okay, uh, Mustafa, you can stop your presentation. The next one is uh, Faris Barik. Faris, uh, please start your presentation. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Yes, Doctor, uh, it's clear the Uh, well, uh, I am. I will talking about uh, uh, You can hear me, Doctor? Shabab, Samain, you're live. Yes, yes, we can. Doctor? Check for off.
Okay, Faris, you can start. Okay, Jackson. <clears throat> yes, so you were talking about uh, hosting and uh, voice system, the contact, production to material handling uh, equipment, basic element of hosting, type of hosting, uh, when uh, and installing fixed current. The following practice must be taken. Conversion system and introduction. How to convert in system work. Type of conveyor system. And conclusion. The introduction uh, to material handling uh, equipment. There are thousands of pieces of material handling device. Uh, those uh, equipment system that ca very f uh, form the most basic manual to the most uh, substrate computer controlled material handling system that can uh, improve it to a wet ring of other manufacturing and control functions uh, handling and strong materials Involved device operation such as hosting tens of steel with current. Number two, basic element of hosting. Uh, a current uh, is a type of machine that uh, I mean used to raise or lower heavy materials or objects and to move the horizontal to other places. And uh, for this uh, process, they are often uh, equipment with a current, iron, wires, or shines used places, etc. It rules in the mode of operation on one or more types of simple machines to double the fresh used and create machine advantage that make it of moving loads that uh, excite to interior subsidy of hymon pink number three type of hosting uh, or Overhead traveling current. An overhead current, uh, commonly of called bridge of current, is a type of current find in uh, industrial elevator motors. One of the types of uh, overhead current. Electric overhead throwing current. This is most uh, common type of of, the, of uh, overhead current find in many uh, factors. Uh, those current are electrical operated by uh, a control uh, payment radio remote means of or from an operator. Operator uh, cabin attached to the current. Gantry current. A gantry current is a current pulse step of current. Okay, okay Faris, uh, just show me the next slide. Okay. Go next. 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 Next.
नेक्स्ट 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 ओके ट्राई टू कंक्लूड योर प्रोजेक्ट ओके when i make the my research i learn more uh, about the hosting and uh, convert system it helps the people in the tell the people on the to production system and types of control proteins and uh, they provide very great help and through my research i learning that currents and uh, transport system have a very great benefit and they help engineers to complete the work in the better uh, and economical way it's uh, is not a very expensive and it says faster uh, are quite numbers okay you can stop the next guy can start right now the next is uh, usman please share usman your slide is with us yes doctor okay you can start please can you can you see my screen hello doctor can you see my screen yes we can see just do the presentation go to in presentation slide like the previous guy open your presentation can you see the screen now <clears throat> do this one is uh, how can i say the your slide uh, shows bigger than this one should be in your slide you can see uh, left side uh, around the what happened Can you see it now? No. Yes, now. Okay, go ahead. You can see it now. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I will start my presentation with uh, introduction to material hand handling. Material handling embraces the basic operation. Usman, can you speak loudly? Body. I cannot hear your properly voice. You can hear me. Oh, okay. Material handling embraces the basic operation in connection with the movement of bulk, okay, and individual products in semi-solid or solid state by means of gravity manually or power-activated equipments. 
and within the limits of individual pro producing fabrics. Material handling does not add any value to product, but adds to the cost of product. So material handling should be kept at a minimum cost. So as your cost of product production will not go up. So introduction to hoisting and conveying machines. They are the principal means of for the mechanization of loading and unloading work and hoisting and conveying operation in industry, construction, transportation, mining and agriculture. They are all used to move people in high-rise residential, public, administrative buildings, in mines, soapways, and other transport hubs. So, a hoist is basic is basically construction and material handling equipment that is used to move materials from from the ground upwards. Okay, go to your next slide. Go to your next slide. Next one. One minute. I when I say, then you will go. Next. Next. Go to next. Next. Go ahead. Next. Okay, go ahead. We continue with the space of two seconds. From here. Okay, go ahead. From here, okay. No, you can Convey, go, he, go ahead. Okay. Usman, you can go ahead. Let me uh, present from uh, here. The space of two seconds. The space of two seconds. Go to the 13th slide. 13th slide okay. Go to the next. Yes. Next. Next. Continue. From, from here. He, he, you just continue. I want to see your slide. Next I slide. understood what you did. Just continue your slide. Yes. Can you go for the next slide? Uh, can you go, please go to next slide. Usman, can you, can you hear my voice? Hello? Doctor, can you hear me? We cannot hear your voice. Don't hear me. Go your next slide. Go for your next slide. Let me see. Can you hear me now? Yes, no, I can hear you. Just go ahead. With the presentation from here. No need to present. Just show me your slide. Oh, okay.
where is your conclusion part i didn't write it here but i'm going to conclude from from my head okay you can stop your presentation the next one can start from you oh, okay the next is uh, okurtorim iskori is with us Can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, the PPT file or the Word file? Yes. PPT file. You it's just, on Word. You paste from the Word to uh, PPT file. Yes, you didn't I make your PPT file. I I made I when I finished from the Word, I just converted it to PPT <laughs> file. This is your first time presentation. Yes. You never do this one before? No. Nah. In uh, which semester is your? My final semester. Your final semester and you don't know how you make the PPT file. I do know how to make a PPT file, but when I finished my presentation and my word file, I just copied from the word and pasted to the PPT. You don't need to put everything in PPT file. Your uh, what you are just in PPT file, you are going to conclude your project. Yeah, that is the presentation. Okay. Okay. Let me see. You can continue your presentation. Let me check. Okay. Um, I'm presenting about hoisting and conveying machine where you have my table of contact, where you have introduction, material we handling. We this one is clearly. Can you open your screen? Um, I come in. Can you see? No. Uh, can you see? Mm -hmm. Can you see well? We cannot see. Uh, I'm coming. Can you see? Not no. Because sir, I'm using a cafeteria system. Uh, my laptop is bad. That's why. Uh, I'm in a cafeteria using their computer. I don't know. Can you see now? No. Oh. The other guys, can you see? I cannot see his file. No, I cannot see. No, we couldn't see you, doctor. He is not presenting. I'm not no, presenting. We cannot see your first slides. Okay, I'm coming. Can you just give me a minute? Okay. Okay, because I'm using a computer from um presents now can you see now i cannot see <laughs> wait okay, okay i'm okay, coming it's, it's going on yeah can you all see now yes okay okay so as i said i have the table of contents the introduction to hoisting, conveying, material handling, the diagrams, forms of transportable materials, block and tackle mechanism, lifting mechanism, hoist types. In hoist types, I have chain, hoist, electric chain, wire rope hoist, hoist trolley, electric hoist. Then we have the FEM standard, the cranes. In cranes, we have overhead traveling cranes, gantry cranes, column jib cranes. Then we have the conveyors. In conveyors, I made a list of types of conveyors, which are the rollers, the gravity, <laughs> the screw, and the belt conveyor. Introduction to hoisting. 
we define hoisting as the moving of heavy materials from one point to another around the job site required requires the use of specific machineries. In some cases, a crew may need to suspend the material when the building large scale projects such as industrial buildings, dam or skyscrapers. What is material hoisting? Material and material handling. Material handling is the movement, protection and storage and control of materials and products throughout manufacturing. Um, if you go further down, this is a diagram of a hoisting machine, which I also included another diagram. We have another diagram and a component of hoisting machine. We have the gearbox, a lifting motor, an overload limit device, a limit switch, and a drum and rope guide. Then we have the block and tackle mechanism. A block and tackle is a system of two or more pulleys with rope or cable threaded between them, usually used to lift heavy loads. When I go further down, you will see a diagram of it showing you how it operates with the weight with the weight and everything. Then we have lifting mechanisms. In lifting mechanisms, they include hydraulic, mechanic, robotic, bed, simple, crank, screw, forklift, and so many other more. These are some diagrams of some lifting me mechanisms. Then in hoisting type, we have chain hoist, which a chain hoist or block is a mechanism used to lift and lower heavy loads using a chain which you can see a diagram here then we have electric chain hoists they are used for lifting or lowering materials electric motors and controls are utilized to lift and lower and accelerate or decelerate the speed of hoist we also have the wired rope hoist it's a complex mechanics mechanical device that has many moving parts all working in tandems to help support and move an object or load. Then further down, we have the hoist trolley. This is a hoist specifically geared towards load shifting rather than cross motion. Usually they have a load bearing capacity of up to three turns. This type of hoist is perfect, perfect for warehouse and storage facilities. Then last one is the electric hoist. Electric hoist can be designed to use chain or wire rope and use an electric motor to turn the gears. Then we have some FEM standards from about some FEM standards for some cranes and some devices. What is FEM standard? Um, these are standards which are um, given out by most companies for the use of the cranes. I really don't know much about it. I just researched and posted it. Okay, go ahead. Um, then we have the cranes. A crane is a type of machine generally equipped with a hoist rope, wired rope, or chain that can be used to both lift or lower materials and to move them horizontally. It is mainly used for lifting heavy no, things and transporting no, them. Yes, okay, sir. Stop. Okay. Go for your next next slide. Okay. Next. Uh, come in. Okay. Next. We have the conveyors. Next. Next. <clears throat> um, this is the end. Then I have my conclusion. Okay, try to conclude. Your okay. Point. After further research of the topic on hoisting and material and um, material conveying, I was able to find and know how it works, the connection between the conveyors, the cranes, and I was the cranes on how they move and the different types of cranes and machine required in different aspects of engineering fields.
that's all sir okay uh, your fluent language in english is okay yeah. but uh, please go to youtube and check how we can make what is the requirement uh, how can we make this one what is the procedure to make ppt file we don't need to copy and paste yeah. from the word to everything uh, word to uh, ppt file no need to paste everything copy and paste yes sir just, um, just important things uh, you need to put it go if yeah. you don't know go to the youtube check it there is a lot of videos you um, are the final year student you should know everything yeah. No, I know how to do it, but I had um, a limited time to convert to PPT because I wasn't aware. I made it in words, and I didn't like convert it to PPT, like summarize it to put in PPT. If you could let me present by next week, I can do it. No, it's in okay. Next... It's okay. okay. It's okay. You are okay. You are the okay. next guy can start, and you can stop your presentation. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the next one is uh, Abdul Rahman Ibrahim. Please start your presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, I do believe that I am next. Uh, I will start presenting. Give me a second. All right. Yeah. Do you guys see it? Yes. Please go okay, ahead. Okay, I will start. All right. Okay, I will start with the introduction. Uh, throughout the ages, engineering got more advanced by the year. And with all these advancements and the material needed to build and produce got bigger and bigger. So engineers had to pioneer a new, ma new machines to help transport these materials safely and in a short period of time. This report will, sp will be split into 13 main points, which are the introduction to material handling, forms of transportable materials, basic elements of hoisting, block and tackle mechanisms, lifting mechanisms, hoist can you, uh, Wait a minute, Abdurrahman, can you go for your next slide? We are only seeing your cover page. Wait, I, and my screen, it's like the second one. Okay, you second one. Okay, you can start. This is the introduction. Are you guys which yes. screen are you on? Uh, this third slide, can you go to present? Uh, I mean, it's the big slide, the presentation. Uh, can you give me one second? Should I like I want to stop sharing and share again just for okay. a second? OK, because I don't know what uh, what's going on. So I will share okay. my entire screen now. I think now it's going to be sharing better. So I will go back. Uh, yes. Carry on. Look, uh, yes, now you can carry on. Everybody can uh, see this one. Go to in this way. OK, yeah. Now, because I, uh, I did like only one window, and now I'm changing it to entire screen. All right. OK, so I will continue uh, on introduction to material handling. Material handling is the movement, protection, storage, and control of materials and products throughout manufacturing, warehousing, and distribution. It's all that all that we have to do it in like in the handling of material handling. Uh, it is a process. Uh, the material handling is, is a process that incorporates a wide range of manual, semi-automatic, and automated equipment, and systems that support logistics and make the supply chain work. Uh, the material handling application helps us with forecasting, source allocations, product planning, flow and process management, inventory, uh, inventory, inventory management and control, customer delivery, and after-sales support and services. How is material handling equipment used? There is a variety of manual, semi-automated, and automated materials, uh, material handling equipment, and technologies available to aid in the movement, protection, storage, and control of materials and products throughout the, the manufacturing, distribution, and consumption, and also the disposal. Uh, this, uh, this slide shows uh, how is material handling equipment used. 
They're used for automated storage and retrieval systems, automated guided vehicles, automated identifi identification and data collection, casters and wheels, controls, conveyors, deck equipment, uh, ergonomics, hoisting equipment, industrial ro robots, integrated material handling systems, item order fulfillment systems, and many more, as you can guys see. And we, here we show where material handling is used. Material handling in, is used in every industry, including aerospace, appliance, automotive, beverage, chemicals. Uh, yes, go sir. to your next slide. Show me your sli uh, slide step by step. OK. Uh, should I stop uh, talking or like, uh, carry on? Uh, just stop. Uh, OK, go for the next. OK. Next. Next. Go ahead with this space of two seconds. Okay. Okay, you can conclude. Where is your conclude part? Uh, uh, I was planning on doing the conclusion myself, actually, like talking about it. Okay, you can conclude right now. <laughs> but the problem is I didn't like read it because I was like doing the same with the with the presentation. I was writing the conclusion in my head. So with all that, I couldn't do the conclusion. If we can speak about it like, I think I can say that after all we have seen from this uh, presentation, we can know, uh, now we know how important hoisting and uh, machining, uh, hoisting and conveying is in the engineering industry and how wide and variable it is. And without it, we couldn't do, like, we cannot manufacture many, many uh, products and uh, many other stuff along the way and it is uh, and we still have a lot of room for improvement in this field and thank you thank okay. you okay you can start I, the I will, next next i will add and, the conclusion sorry? in this i will add the conclusion next uh, i will add it uh, when i resubmit okay. okay yeah thank you sir next guy who is uh, ala aman al sharif You can stop. Okay, Allah, you can start. Allah is with us. Ala Amana Al Sharif, are you here? If not, okay, the next guy can start. Amiro Ibrahim. Uh, yes. Amiro, you are here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you can start. I'm here. Okay, I'm going to present.
Okay, can you see now? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, today I'm going to talk about hoisting and conveying machines. So this is the content of the project which I did. And, uh, it includes uh, introduction, forms of transport or materials, basic elements of hoisting, lifting mechanism, hoist type, cranes, FME standards, conveyors, type of conveyors, main component of conveyors, drive bar calculation and conclusion at the end. Uh, for the introduction, material handling is the process of loading, shifting, and unloading of materials from one site to another site. It plays significant significant function in manufacturing and logistics. The, com uh, the communities of the physical commerce uh, is shipped on a conveyor or lift truck or some other material handling equipment with manufacturing plants, storage, and retail, uh, retail stores. One of the important facts uh, of consideration is to form material handling with safety, economically using uh, and economically using different types of gadget, tackles, and equipment. So material handling plays important role in manufacturing and logistics. Almost oh, every okay, aspect. Amiro, one minute, one minute. Okay, show me your next slide. Oh, uh, okay. Form of. Good. Next. Uh, this is just a figure. Okay. Go ahead with this space of two seconds. Okay. Okay, can you explain about the this FEM standard? Uh, what okay. is uh, FE, FEM standard uh, further? Uh, just uh, just conclude it. Don't go for the deep in detail. Uh, just tell me what is it? Okay, it's just like a, it's just like a, a standard for the cranes and the how it's like uh, how it should be. Uh, the material, how it's handled in uh, the European Federation. But, uh, who who make this standard? Like the uh, European Federation. Okay, they Federation. Made... Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can go to for next slide. Okay. Next. Next, just go with the space of two seconds. Okay, try to conclude your part. This okay, um, in this project which, deal, which deals with hoisting and conveying machinery, instead that the opening discussing the fundamental uh, the fundamental principles of and elements of these machines, how materials are being handled and the transportation forms of those materials, which follows the different machines used into that order, the actual work done by those machines and lifting mechanism and safety is the number one priority 
as an engineer, so every machine and component should go with the SME standard. Also learning about the components uh, which make the actual machine. Moreover, we went to the drive for calcula uh, calculations that tend to make the listing possible. Thank you. Okay, the next guy is, who is that? Uh, Fahad Hassan. Fahad Hassan, please start your presentation. Good evening, Victor, and good evening, everyone. I'm going to do a talk about introduction about hosting and conveying machines. The content of my pro project is introduction, transport equipment, hosting components, lifting mechanism, hosting type, overhead cranes, gun tray cranes, column jib cranes, FME standards, and converge components and drive our calculation and conclusion. There are a thousand of pieces of material handling device. This equipment vary from the most basic manual to the most intelligent com 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 computer-controlled material handling system that encrypt a wide range on other manufacturing and control function. The, the effect handling and storing of material are well and industrial in addition a raw materials their operation provide a continual follow of parts and assemble assemblies through the workshop and ensure them, them that material are available when needed material handling equipment is used for moving and storing of material when in factory or at site Transport equi equipment, equipment used to move material from one location to other between workshop, between a loading dock and storage area. The major the major is, uh, subcategories of transport equipment are converse. Chain and industrial truck material can also transport manual using equipment. Hosting components are lifting motor and gearbox and drum and rope guide and overload limit device and limit switch. Lifting, lifting mechanism. This disparity between amount of force required to move uh, and open. Okay, yes. I got your uh, standard. Go for your next slide with the space of two seconds. Okay.
Okay, conclude your project. Yes, in this project, which manage hosting and conveying on machine, and with this end goal that the basic standard and components of these machines, how material can be take care of and transport type of this material, which follow that defined machine, different machine utilized into the request and actual work done by by those machines and lifting system security in this main need as. Uh, so very machine our part should be given with FMEs uh, guidelines like which bonding out about the part which make the actual machine. Okay, can you please uh, op open your conclusion part? Go to your conclusion. Okay, can you uh, just speak a little bit FEM guideline? Yes, FEM guideline is Federation, European Federation. It's make like how we can use the cranes or how we can make the cranes. Oh, there is a specific standard. Yes. You means. Okay, uh, the next uh, you can stop the next guy. Samir Al Sharman, are you here, Shamir? Samir uh, Al Sharman, he is absent. Okay, the next guy is. is uh, Menem Al Shokor. He's here. Menem Al Shukur. He's also absent. Okay. The next one is Yazid Ahmed. No, I'm here. I'm here. I just try to present. Okay. What is your name? Munim. Uh, Munib? Munib, Munib, yes. Munib, okay. Munib, start your presentation, please. Can you see now, sir? Mm -hmm. Sir, can you see? No, we cannot see your screen. Yes. You can see, yes? Yes. Sir, you want to see my slides or I have to present? Uh, okay, start your presentation. I will tell you. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Munim and I want to present my projects. Introduction of material handline material can you handline. go to the first slide uh, where is your uh, content part content slide yes i have for for ppf uh, i have no, no, no your content order. after your cover page you should have your content uh, page uh, actually i have no i didn't do it okay go ahead okay material handle handle just a, just a minute, please. Yeah. Introduction to material hand line. Material hand link with moving raw materials work in a process and finished goods into the plat within the plat and out of the plat warehouses the description networks or directly to the customers the basic objective is to move the right combination of tools and materials which is like raw materials parts and finished products at the right time to the right place in the right form and in the right duration and to do it with the minimum total cost. 
lifting mechanisms main area more heat during die daylight hours, hours and will cause the autos atmosphere above to become warm this warm air will raise and create thermals actually birds often use thermals to to their advantage to reach great heights there are four okay, kinds okay monim stop and just uh, show your next slide with the space of 2 second okay go ahead Okay, try okay. to conclude your project here. Okay. While well, they may get overlooked because there's some slightly convoluted function for heavy equipment utilized and at building site sites. They offer incline. Uh, it can convey material in variety of directions either vertically horizontally or on incline using the chain belt to push materials through quickly in must meaning operation and for the movement concrete pro employ converse advantage to their use include which is like first one uh, saving time over output running community. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. The next guy, who is that? Yazid Ahmed. Hi, doctor. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go and okay, present your. Can you see me? Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Zid Hamad, and I'm going to present uh, hoisting and conveying uh, machines in many different points. Yes. Uh, form of transport, transport tables, material, basic elements of hoisting. Block and tackle mechanisms, lifting mechanisms, hoist pipes, overhead traveling, cranes, uh, general cranes, column, uh, jib cranes, FEM, standards, uh, conveyor, conveyor uh, com components, uh, dry power calculation, conclusion. Okay. Forms of transport, transportable materials. Uh, trans transport equipment is used to move material from one location to another between workplace, between a loading dock and storage area, etc. Why uh, uh, position equipment is used to uh, manipulate material at, at a single location? The major sub uh, sub uh, sub sub categories uh, sub categories of transport equipment are conveyors, cranes, and industrial trucks. Material can be uh, transported manual using no equipment. Types of transport. transport, Just, transport okay, stop. Equipment. Stop. Just show your full slide.
Okay, conclude. Conclude. Okay. For vertical lifting of freely sub and heavy uh, bulky loads, hoisting equipment for high work in conjunction with overhead cranes and workstation cranes. Their lifting capacities depend on their construction. Their travel is directed by an operator, either manual or with a wheel. A wired uh, banded station or wireless control. Typical applications include helping operators in manufacturing, uh, warehouse, and construction to lift loads in support of production or load activities, loading and, and unloading, or one process to the next. Thank you. Okay, okay, you see, uh, you can stop. The group one is over, okay. uh, it's finished. In group one, there is a two guys are missing, Ala, and the second one is Samir. These both are missing, and uh, you, doctor. okay. Doctor, can I present the uh, conclusion? Sorry. For me, I, can I present my conclusion? It's uh, ready now. No, today only for the group one. Yes, I I did the first one. But uh, I didn't have my conclusion. Now I have it. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's... I can present it. No, it is. Oh, it's fine. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, the group one is over. Uh, there is a two student are missing. They are both are absent. Up to them. <coughs> okay. When uh, the <coughs> the some student are present. Okay, very well. They some are fluent. The sum of not uh, the native language is not in English. Okay, I can understand every all of them. They are not in, in native language. <clears throat> but before you come to the presentation, not only this one, in every presentation all, all over the world, please make your rehearsal. Make your rehearsal. Uh, there is no any mistake, there is no pronunciation difficulties. Uh, check on the Google or YouTube, you will see uh, some of the students, they just copy and paste from the Word file to PPT file. PPT file. Uh, in PPT file, you are going to present your project in smart way. You don't need to copy and paste everything. And it is not a requirement. That is the, uh, uh, you are going to present the presentation. That is uh, the second thing. Okay, the cover page, uh, everybody's okay, the someone is missing. <clears throat> After the cover page, you have to make a table of content, what you are going to present in your presentation. The some of them, they make, table of content the sum of them they are missing okay uh, the last one uh, you can write your uh, abstract part uh, everybody is missing no one is uh, right in the presentation abstract part but the conclusion part should be there conclusion part uh, after the conclusion and the some of them they speak a conclusion the some of them they are missing it's okay uh, after the conclusion you have to uh, put your reference part and today is the uh, okay that is the belong to uh, presentation comments and the today is the uh, last day i think i guess uh, for your uh, recorrection for your project Okay, in your second uh, link, everybody should upload your project. Even you think my project was okay in the first group, and uh, you think you don't need to upload, you worked hard already, it is okay, but still you will upload in the second link. And uh, everybody should upload until now. Uh, let me tell you how many students they upload. Okay, until now, out of 38, 19 students upload. The rest of them, they didn't upload yet. 
please try to upload today is the last day and uh, i gave you a lot of time for your project i never see your performance until now before the beginning of the class i told you i need your performance in your project today is the last day best of luck and i gave you this true chance a resubmission as well so that is over today if anyone have question please ask me thank you doctor you welcome okay if there is no question the lecture is over you may leave the class before you leave please uh, in the chat box write your name surname and student number it's mean you don't miss your lecture group 2 should be better than group 1 they should learn from the group 1 i'm going to strict as compared to first one you have time one week and the group 3 for the group 3 most restriction is going to come so be careful and do your best <laughs> 